And we're going to be looking at this creator. They got three levels for the Dev Exit stream. And we're going to go ahead and beat all of them. The last one's going to be the hardest, I think, because I don't really understand it too much. This one should be the easiest. At least I think it should be the easiest. It's going to be the hardest in uh, the beginning, but once you get past the beginning, it's free. Yeah, once they get past the beginning, get through this first stupid room, there's a dev item that just gets past the whole level. How do I do that? Oh, I need to do momentum uh, next to the wall, I see. This is a yikes level for sure. And it gets worse too, but of course it's fake. Okay, so that kills you, apparently. Uh, how do I get past the P-Switch, then? Do I just not activate it there? Maybe. Hey, sugar. Okay, it doesn't activate it. Alright, now we just wait. I don't know how long, but... I gotta jump on the spring, so... Is it a block? Let me double check, because I didn't actually check to see if it was a block or not. It is... A hidden block that falls. Okay. I'm gonna probably have to redo this in viewer to find it. Oh, never mind. Found it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I probably should have wrote how to hit the spring, but you know what? It's fine. We have a viewer, I guess. It's, it's already cached, so. What's the next order of business? Oh, yeah, right here. It is going down here. So there is a hidden key <laughs> that is going to be very hard to get, I think. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Because. I only get one chance. This doesn't have anything in it, does it? No. Oh, got it. Never mind. We win now. Cool, nice dev exit. That one's done and over with. Let's go to the next one here. I'm going to save the best one for last. I'm going to try this next one that I didn't really understand too much. So we'll go from there. This is all on the same profile, by the way. Probably could just go through looking at the profile, but it'd be easier just doing this. Sorry, experts only. Yeah, okay. Oh, thanks, Sugar, for reminding me to do this. Appreciate it. Also, hey, Mr. Coco. We're not doing viewer levels right now, sorry. Play it normal for now because the dev is like super far in of this section. Okay, so that one I think I have to. That indicator's off, I feel like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to be more on the right side. I don't think it. Hmm. Unless I'm supposed to hit the other one first. I don't think you can. 
Yeah, no, it's that one I have to hit first, I see. So I don't want to hit that, obviously. I want to get on that snowball somehow. And I want to go to the right, and I want to land on that. Okay. It's a very hard level, but there is some dev stuff going on. The level gets even harder later on. That's why there's dev stuff. Okay, I gotta hold right. That's gonna be the hardest part about this level is right here. So you have to do that. So I have to like be looking to the right side or be on the left side of it and land on it. Which you can't do that. So I have... God, it made it so awkward. The beginning is just awful already to begin with. So I have to make sure I'm like facing to the right with some momentum and then... <sighs> Unless I'm doing it wrong. I mean, that seems correct. Um, okay, and then we hold right. Yeah, they made this a completely awkward. Look at this. Hi, Robbie. Let's get this out of the way. I mean, I would have booted anyways for this horrible design, but it's going to get worse. So I need to have more speed there, by the way. Yeah, sorry, experts only, yeah. Wait till you see the dev exit. What? Oh, I have to land on that? But wow, okay, hold up. Let me look and see where this dev item is at first. Right there, okay. So I have to get, wait. Did they play from the checkpoints? I don't know if they did or not. I mean, if they did, kudos to them, I guess. The level doesn't look that bad to play from checkpoint. But I would rather beat this level anyways, so... I don't know if you guys saw the announcement that I made for the level makers of my Discord roles area, but Sugar and Zero will be joining the Summit Contest. I decided to add them because I feel like having more variety in judging would be better for the contest anyways. And I trust their judgment, you know? So it would, just having a variety of different mindsets would be really good for the contest, I think. But how do I get up there? There's a way to get up there somehow. But how? Let me see. Maybe this, this is not a real dev exit. Let me double check. I'm trying to see how I'm supposed to get up there. Hmm. Hmm. How do they get up there? I'm trying to, like... There's just confusion is the issue right now. I guess I could get checkpoint and check from there. Maybe this dev exit's only doable from checkpoint? That'd be kind of weird. Wait, is there a P switch anywhere? Hold up. If there's a P switch, then it makes it free. I don't see no P switch though. Hmm. It seems like a real dev exit, so that's the problem I have with this. And I don't see no hidden P switch. And that one jump where I just died, up there is how you get to the dev exit. So I'm trying to figure out how they did that. Guess I could just go to the checkpoint and find out from there. Not gonna really help much though. Hmm. Oh, maybe. Maybe getting that star somehow helps with getting out? Yes! 
Okay, so do I get uh, do I get a power up? I'm trying to figure out what they did here. Okay, so it's clear to me that there's a hidden star that falls down. That's the the answer. Okay. That's fine. But where does the star come into play? From checkpoint. Is it from checkpoint one? Okay, so I want to have it on red and then blue. The blue would put it down there and then keep it on blue. I'm not really sure how they. Ha okay, I'm gonna have to redesign this. I have to show people this. I have to redesign this. I don't know where it's gonna land up, and I need to look this into Course Maker. They have a star on a track that has multiple different ways of doing things. This is not the right level. Um, you guys probably remember what this level is. I was showing Zero and Sugar how to cheese something, but it's fine. All right, let's get off of this theming because this theming sucks anyways. Actually, you know, we're on daytime, it's fine. We're gonna go into make a level mode. Let's do it from here. And then they had one of these. Is that correct? I'm gonna put the grid on. I'm gonna have to do this block by block. One, two. And they had that, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. Okay, so we don't really need to worry about this part, but we're gonna put it in the level anyways. That's what it looks like. The next part is this, followed by this, which becomes this. And then we have this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So like this. But this would be Hold on. Let's remove this and turn this into this. Okay, this is what it looks like apparently. And then we put the star on. Facing that way. Let's put some ground down and let's just see what happens and how I have to like interact with this. This is what the star looks like off screen. Here we go. One, two, okay. So at two seconds, it needs to go down. Hmm. How am I supposed to get the star if I can't reach it from there? I guess we're going to find out. Here we go. So one, two, three, four. Or five. By this point, I should have hit it five seconds in. And do I want it to come back? Hold on. Let me see what happens when it goes off of this angle right here. Maybe that's the answer. And then you want to hit it again, maybe? And then when it comes down through here, does it go back onto the track system? That's the scary part. It does. Okay. Hmm. This is such a weird star. Okay, let's say it fell down over here. Let me make remake the map real quick. Let's put it back into snow so we at least know what's going on. Let's do this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down below from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's correct. Let me double check. Two, four, six, eight. Right here. Okay. I'm gonna remake this real quick so it looks a little identical. And we're gonna put the blue platform here and then we're just gonna see where the star lands up. About where it's at, right? One more. Okay, let's see where the star lands up. I'm very curious to see what happens here. Also, when does the star load? That's a good question. Here we go. Here? Here. 
here. Here, okay, so what is this area right here? That is under this, which is... Oh, conveniently the spike right here. Wait a minute. So look, somewhere down here, there's a spike thing like that. And then there's a saw blade. Wow, this is probably the hardest one. The other one looks easier now that I'm looking at this. Saw blade was like this. Had that. Oh, sorry, not all of that. Had that. And then we had the sideways spring and the on off right about here. So you're saying I have to wait here, but how does that help me? That's the bigger question. Why am I doing all of this just to get a fake star? First off, let's recreate the entry point, right? Because if I have a star, I want to make sure I'd be able to get in there, right? Did I recreate this properly? Probably not, but I'm just going to do it, roll with it, you know? Uh, so under here... How close is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So right here. This is where it needs to be. Okay. And we have a slope. I don't want to copy too much to be a waste of time, but... We have a slope here. Twice. And after that point, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. Then we have... An opening right here. The, the goal is to see if I can use the star to make it in here. Is this even perfectly correct? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. That looks correct. Well, let's see if I can make the jump here with the star. Yeah, it's real. Okay. If I can make that jump with the star, then that's real. But how do I do this? Where is the star going to land? Let's find out. Okay, so we obviously it might go around a few more times. I think the thwomp is going to automatically make it do stuff. So, like, I'm not too worried. Wait. Oh, that's correct. Okay, I wanted to make sure. The whole goal is to find out where the star goes, so let's just leave it as is and see where this goes. It goes right here, but I can't make use of that. And everything is designed appropriately correct, so... Let's keep this up. The only other option is this but that falls off and it goes away forever am i looking at this wrong Here we go. huh i want to test something if i do this and do this does it make it Here we go. no it just still puts attack on it okay the other attacks are correct this is all correct am i looking at this wrong The star goes in a spot that's unaccessible, I believe. Let's just double check. And I'll look at the sub in just a moment here. Hold on. I want to see what's wrong with this. Okay, so I need to have it over here. Let me see. I don't know if this is even reachable. I'm gonna try one thing. I think I have an idea. I'm gonna try one thing. Uh, Mr. Hyde, thank you for the prime. Uh, welcome back. Appreciate the half a year, by the way. Sorry about that. I was just like really super into this. I think I figured it out, but I don't know how to get the star. How long have I been sitting on this level? Um, about that long. Once I got to the spot where I needed to be, I was very confused. Maybe the checkpoint matters? So I need to wait on the... Hmm. I, 
either I have to wait on the sideways spring or I need to get checkpoint and come backwards somehow. Which I don't know if it's even possible. There is a dev here, I just don't know how to get to it. Okay, so... This is, does not work as what I thought it was going to happen. Hmm. How do I get... Maybe the checkpoint has a power-up? No. Oh, you can reset the room? That has to be the answer. Checkpoint has to be the answer. I think you can just reset the room. That icicle's pretty mean, though. Yeah, I know, it's literally from Kaizo the puzzle. Also, hey, Fox. Okay, so we get the checkpoint, we hit the on off, go through it, reset room, but why? We gotta make sure it's on red though, as soon as possible. But why does any of this matter? Because if I'm looking at the level, it, it shows that you can't get the star. Huh. By the way, that pokey in the top right on the left side has the key that we need to beat the level. Didn't have the speed. There was a way to get up there, though. Hmm. I mean, if somebody sees something I don't, feel free to let me know if there's a possibility, because... I could be smooth braining this, you know. Okay, so how does this help me? I mean, I go in here, right? I reset myself, which is what I want. Because you don't want to play the level. It's worthless. There goes the Goomba. Hmm. The problem is I can get the star, I just don't... Wait. Are there any tracks in between all of this stuff? Probably not, right? Okay, the star's already gone, by the way, so I have to die. So from checkpoint... One, two, three, I can hit... Oh, psh, dumbass. Oh, so after two seconds, I can hit it. So about one, or six... And then about, what, 10 seconds later? Not even that. Like, at 90, we can hit it now. Did I do that wrong? I don't see the star. <sighs> Is this fake? Did they actually play the level and have a fake dev exit? Hmm. Let me redo the testing first. Let me just double check on something, because I do need the timing for this to work. I don't know how the star is going to help me if I can't reach it. They could have forgotten to remove it, but this is the same creator we just exposed earlier, so I don't think so. Right, get rid of the star, we don't need it. Let's do some timing testing stuff. Here we go. One, two, so at seven you can hit it. And after five, you can hit it. Oh, you hit it one more time. Otherwise, it goes back in this loop, I see. But that loop doesn't really help me. All right, let's try that again. Here we go. So seven, you hit it. Four, you hit it. Three, you hit it. How does this help me, though? <laughs> This is a good question. How does this help me, and how do I get to the star? I could probably jump to it midair. 
Is that what they want? God, that's a gross, disgusting dev, if so. All right, looking at the bomb. Bomb doesn't help me at all. Can I even make it back from checkpoint? I think so. It would be really hard to do. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something else here. I can get to the pokey with the key on it. But I can't do anything from there unless it's a... No, it's not a falling one. So how... Star isn't loaded unless you go to that spike and from checkpoint. I know that much for sure. The clear check time is 118, so maybe it is legit. I don't know how to test it otherwise. The rest of the level doesn't look that bad to play, actually. It does look like it gets harder though, like really hard. Possibly even impossible at certain stages. I'm looking at it. Like, even from checkpoint two, the level doesn't look that bad. It looks horrible, though. Actually, wait. No, that's impossible, I think. Hold up. Let me see if this is possible to do. Because if this is impossible, they use their dev exit on both sides. Wait, but checkpoint two has to be real, though, right? So that jump has to be possible somehow. Huh. Yeah, there's no way for you to go back. So I think it might actually be a real level with the fake dev. What the... Oh, you gotta see this. This dev exit is just horrible. Let me show you. I mean, I think it has to be real in some cases, but look at this. So this is where you come from in the key door that I'm trying to get to. This is all doable stuff. I know how to do all that. But over here has the hidden vine, the bomb, and this block to stop the bomb. This star has to be real, I feel like, because, I don't know, like, when it falls off, it falls off right here. You can grab that midair, I feel like, if you do a really good jump. Or you land on this and maybe do a jump off of that. The problem is getting back to this. If you jump off of the bomb, you can probably get into that claw with a really good jump. But, you saw how fast I had to do the star stuff. So none of that makes any sense. You have to hit it one more time on the way back. Otherwise it falls unless... Unless you have to use this on off of the bomb somehow. I don't think so though. If I can get that thwomp to hit the on off right here multiple times, it wouldn't be an issue. Which is what I thought was going to happen, but it didn't. The star falls right here under this icicle. You can grab that with a mid-air jump. Hmm. Maybe they did remove it. I don't see a way to actually getting the star. The star is how you get past this one section right here to go back over here, kill this guy. Well, no, even if you kill that guy. Wait a minute. It has to be fake, because there's no SMB2, is there? Without an SMB2 mushroom, you can't get back up without doing the section again. I guess you could use the star to run through the section, but... How much time do you really have at that point? You get the star and you go right away. You have about, what, 10 seconds? Hit this guy. Come down here and jump, jump, jump through all of this. Do a big jump, land on this. I guess you would have enough time to get back over here. 10 seconds is a lot of time to get back through, like, a counterclockwise block. I think it is doable. The problem is I don't understand how to get the star. But why would you need a dev star dev route 
right? If you have two checkpoints, why would you need that? The level itself isn't even that bad. I can actually beat it, probably, with enough practice. Grind is probably not worth it, though. Cause look how much crap you have to do over here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd rather actually play this level legit. This is the one jump I was worried about. I wasn't sure if it was actually doable, but it has to be if they beat it from checkpoint two. This looks awful. And that's the end. But why would you hide all of this stuff? Did they just like have like some sort of like last second judgment call because for some reason, I don't know. It's so weird because this star jump right here makes it easily. It's just so odd to me that they don't have a way to get the start easily, you know? Unless I'm missing something. You know what? Hold up. Let me make this stuff all the way to the top. Maybe that has some sort of effect on the star. I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's just do that. I don't think it's going to do anything different, but I'm actually kind of curious. Does it make it go anywhere different? When it goes off screen like that. That's not even the top yet. Hold up. I'm actually very curious. Wait. Wait a minute. Did I misjudge this? Hold up. That falls, but do I want it to fall? What if I fall, make it fall the other way? It goes back on. That's what I was afraid of. Unless I... Do I have this in the wrong spot? Hold up. Let me see. So if it falls down the other way... Hold on. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two. Maybe they just had a change of heart. Because I don't see a way for this to actually land in the right proper spot. I'm double checking to make sure everything is in the right spots, and it is. Uh, if for some reason it wasn't, the star would literally land. No joke. If I have this like that. No, it wouldn't do anything different. If this were to fall normally, which is what I'm going to try and make it do. Let's move this out of the way. If this were to fall normally, right here. That would probably land on the checkpoint, right? Let's just double check. So it landed right here. That would be on the checkpoint, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three to the right. Yeah, literally on the checkpoint. Huh. Did they fuck up and realize their devx is fake and then they actually play the real level? Gaining some distance. Huh. Well, I'm going to move on from this level. I think it's just a waste of time because it's just a real level at that point. We'll play that level at the end of the devx stream. I'm, I'm assuming it's the barb one, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. It's not the biggest of deals. I think that's just a real level. Unless someone else can prove it otherwise. I think it was supposed, the star was supposed to land on checkpoint. Unless I'm misjudging the, the viewer. Maybe the viewer is wrong. The viewer could be wrong. But I think it was supposed to land on the checkpoint. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I think it, wait, I think I figured it out. I'm actually super curious about something. Something I didn't even know probably was in the game. Hold up. That's what it is, right? Except it's one less. So it would be that, right? What if I'm not understanding a mechanic of the on-off switches? Hold up, with the on-off switch tracks. One second. Here we go. Let me test something real quick. I think I know what's going on here. Wait a minute. Is it going to go through? 
You son of a bitch, I found out how to get your star. That is so clever. All right, let's redo this. I think we can beat the level now. <laughs> I just realized that that's a thing in the game. Okay, so at, at six, so 296, hold up. 297. 294. 290. All right, we're going back in. We found out how to beat the level. I was looking at him like, wait, can it go through the tracks? I didn't, I've never tested that before. When I saw the tracks like that, I'm like, wait, that does... Because when I, when I was trying to make it fall to the checkpoint, I'm like, that's the only way you can get that. I'm like, oh. That's because that's how you get it. God. I didn't even know that was a mechanic in the game. Because I've never dealt with tracks like that before. Alright, then we just uh, reset, I guess. The star should be still there. Hit the on-off as soon as possible. I think it's better actually to die. Because then I can go from the 296 kind of deal. So at 296... 297. So 9-7. Hit it. And then at 9-4 we hit it. And at 9-0 we hit it. And we should get the star. <laughs> uh. But that doesn't explain the star situation, by the way. Like, how am I supposed to... The star runs out so you can get back up in time. That is so disgusting! Wow! That's... Okay, this this creator really loves their dev exit stuff. <laughs> Uh, we should get the star now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that is rough. Yeah, your comment actually didn't make any sense to me, but now I, I totally get. Oh my god, dude, the beginning on off. I just gotta jump on the block. <sighs> That's how they did it from checkpoint. So checkpoint two is the only real checkpoint. That's wow. I did it wrong. That's fine. So 297, 294, 290, and then wait. Unless I did it just perfectly like the creator did it. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Hit that, hit that. All right, we got this. We got this. Right as was about to just leave. It's a real dev exit. Wow. Okay. First things first, we have to hold left. <sighs> of course, they would troll out their own dev. Wow, you can still make that. Okay. Let's just do the thing, yeah? No! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, so from third block, we hit it. Okay, from third block. That's not too bad. You know what? It's a unique dev, I'll give you that. I almost didn't figure it out. Then I thought about something for a moment, like, wait a minute. At least... Someone from chat understood what was going on too, but the problem is it's hard to understand what people are thinking, the way people write things, you know? So this creator also is really bad at the game because of the required dev route here. It's really bad. Cause look, you can still die right here. So what I need to do is time the star and the pokey. It's still a hard dev to get. Oh, 
I'm gonna put this right here for him. Just to make them sweat, you know? I did it wrong. Uh, God, I did it so well the first time, man. It was so good. It just... I had the creator's, like, muscle memory intact, and now I just... I'm getting better at the thing, so it's making it harder to actually get the dev stuff. Yeah, so I need to wait longer at my position. It, yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is understandable if you can't convey the message properly. It's really hard to get a message across when it's really confusing, you know? But I understand what you mean now. Okay, as long as I time it like that, it's fine. So, dev vine, dev block, another dev block. Actually, I can go up higher and hit it easier. Oh, well, too late now. Hold left, hold, jump, hold, run. Bright idea, wrong execution. Should have did it a little bit quicker. Actually, no, I have a better way of doing that. Hey, for all this. I'm gonna restart on purpose because I would like to get under their clear check time. So that way they know I did it. And they feel bad about themselves, hopefully. This is what you're supposed to do, I think. For the checkpoint zero setup. Hit it immediately. Okay, so. We were at 6, so we got to do minus 14, so 297 would be at 3 seconds, so 3, hit it, and then, okay, then 4 after that would be 9, okay, yeah, 7, 9, it'd be 7, 9, and then 7, 5, and then 7, 5, and that should give me the star. Oh my god, I actually did get it. What the heck? Oh, let's get it on this attempt, please. That would be so awesome. Hold left. Do that. Do this. Do that. Do that, that should be it. And then we hit the block above or below. And then we get the win! Oh, almost said one minute, we're so close. And now they know we did the dev exit because we beat the road. Wait, no, it was sub one minute! Dude, that's a moment right there. That's amazing. It's just a, such a cool world record to get in this level like that. Alright, next level that they have. But you saw the timer. It definitely was above one minute, but the game calculated it as sub one minute for some reason, which was really cool.
Here, you know what? I want to give you a gift sub because you have the biggest of brains, or legs, if that's how you say your name. I'm going to give you a gift sub. That was really cool. But you figured it out. I wasn't even looking at chat and I figured it out, but you figured it out faster than I am. What? That's probably due to the viewer vision, but it's fine. I think you deserve a sub for that cool Rasp your new power. big brain thing. Anyways, let's play this one. This is the second version of the first level we played today. It's probably a rounding discrepancy for sure. This is also just as hard. <sighs> wow. Wow, I have to- wait. Why am I going in that claw? I actually don't want to be in that claw. Whatever. So if you go into the claw, you die. That's fine. Uh, a lot of the levels are this, I believe. Kind of like Emeretta. So what do I want to do when it goes up? Yeah. So... When it's in the wall, we make the jump? Okay. Do we want the mushroom? Yeah, I think we do. Oh, wow, okay, I'll just die then. Couldn't I just take damage instead and then go in there? Let me see. Could I just take damage but first and then run in there? I mean, you could. And that would, and, well, that might not work, I don't know. Okay, we got the checkpoint, which is how we beat the level anyways, right? What we want to do... This, fall by that, and then get our Link Sword. This is not, yeah, this is not your levels. Also, they kill you at the checkpoint, that's kind of rude, just saying. God dang it. Well, dude, I literally just wall clipped into a P-switch. That's funny. I'm gonna jump at the start, I think. It'd be faster. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to land in somewhat inside of the P-block, it looks like. Maybe? I don't really know how I did that the first time, but it worked out really well. How do you get this Link Sword? Hmm. Can I like- Oh, maybe I can line up with that wall. That's probably what it is. Yeah, like that, and then you jump. Wow, that's kind of gross. I had it, I just had to jump. How the crap did you get this Link Sword so easily in your clear check time? Like that? <laughs> Alright, now we wait. That still hits you, huh? I was hoping to keep the Link Sword. I think you're supposed to keep the Link Sword, but... Anyways, um... Oh, it's a big boot! Never mind. Never mind, I completely understand what this is all about now. Probably don't want this checkpoint. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst checkpoint, but I definitely don't want it. Alright, I don't want this checkpoint. Let's get this out of the way. This checkpoint's ass. You do not want it. I'm gonna try to see if I can keep Link. That's the plan. I 
Actually, no, I don't need to keep Link. It's fine. Just wait out the P-Switch, I guess. Wait, the P-Switch is just bait, then, if there's a big boot with wings. Yeah, that's just straight-up bait. Ah, missed the jump. I didn't. Ryston did. Yeah, something like that. Oh, I couldn't jump off of the P-switches, man. This is one frame uh, jumps, by the way, if you're wondering. If you're wondering why it's like really hard to do any of these jumps, because when you jump off a P-switch in lava, it gives you only get one frame. That's why it's so hard to do this. I should jump at the beginning of the checkpoint. It's so much easier. I have to actually like, buffer jump to even have a chance to survive in that. I had to do two one frame jumps. To even get the Link Sword and get out of there. Yes, I looked at him in level viewer. Why would I go in here blind? That sounds like a horrible time. Hey, Risen. Let's see if I can keep Link. I don't need to, but I want to see if I can. Obviously, you want to do this. If I do this, do I lose Link? Yes. Okay, so I can't keep Link no matter what. P-Switch is bait. Don't. Oh, God. Wow. The fact that I even touched the checkpoint is even worse. I lost my wing flight. I let go to jump too early or something. <laughs> that was awkward. It's not the biggest of deals because I can get back there pretty easily. It's like, I'm not really upset that I died that way. I'm just a little confused. I was trying to get out in the first attempt. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's not too bad. If you're wondering, there's like two full vertical subworlds that you have to. Okay. That you have to go through instead of playing whatever this is. You're about to see why this level is so free. Also, this has coins in it if you're wondering why I have to blow this up. Oh. Well. Didn't matter, I guess, anyways. Okay, so the troll was if you grab the P-switch, the boot will land on it. Now, there we go. That's what you like to see. You go over here, get all your freaking free keys, and then... I should have killed the thwomp. That's fine, though. I mean, we have this. It's not the biggest deal, so we'll just do this. I mean, we did it kind of semi-legit anyways. Despite having a big boot. You go in here. Go in here as well. Oh, you get a spike in here? What the heck? You don't even need it if you have all the dev keys. Oh no! It's a time triple Bowser boss fight with infinite fire flowers. What shall I ever do? Oh, I have three keys from earlier. Oh no, you're funny, haha, -ha, troll at the end. I bypassed it. <sighs> what a level. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother anymore. I'm not gonna write him another message. I think, wow, 1 out of 7800, by the way.
Such a good level, it deserves a like. Yeah, blue heart, if anything. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta take my dog outside because he's asking him to go outside. And then when I get back, we'll do some attempts on the barb level, I think. And then when we, if we beat the barb level in time, we'll come back and do some more exposing dev access that Ryson has. And we're only gonna spend about maybe 30 minutes on the barb level at most. And then we're gonna move on and go back to exposing dev access. Anyways, I'll be right back. Transcode, Mega Man. I'm a Luigi, number one. It's me, Mario! Transcode! Mega Man!
This is the Monado's power! Speed! I'm Luigi, number one. Transcode, Mega Man. This is the Monado's power. Speed. You're saying this new bar level is gonna be much easier? That's not good. I guess we're gonna find out. We'll play this and then we'll go back to exposing dev exits. All right, here we go. Oh, he just comes down. That makes sense. Because clouds are different sized. Okay, so I can- wow, this is actually much easier than most barb levels. It's usually just like chaotic as hell. This one seems kind of fair, for the most part. Wait, how do you- oh. That's kind of cool, but how is it going to line up is the bigger question. That's what I worry about. It looks like it's going to line up pretty well. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Hey, Jalimba, how you doing? So I'm supposed to use that cannonball. I wonder if that lets me get back onto the platform. That's what I really want to know. It probably does. If you go fast enough, that actually goes great in one fluid motion. I kind of like that. I'm doing fine. We just exposed some really hard levels from this one creator. You kind of missed it, sadly. There were some really nasty dev exits. Pretty uh, clever, I would say. Yeah, 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 yeah. It should just line up. I assume. You activate the icicle and then you go to the right after hitting... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This makes a lot of sense. I'm actually kind of enjoying this barb level so far. Uh, most barb levels are, like, pretty awful to play, but this one seems like a lot of fun.
I gotta like aim for that. That's gonna be the hardest part, not being able to control your jump there. You have to just aim for it, yeah. No, not this, not this maker. No, 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 you, it was a different maker. I already exposed all their crap. This is Barb. Barbarous King, if you've ever heard of him. Or Barbarous King, however you say his name. So I, I need to activate the icicle, turn around and land on the, the cannonball. It seems like I know where it's going to land. I should just take that and just do it. God, it's so hard to hit, though. If it was a black cannonball, it would be different. It would be much easier to deal with, for sure, you know? The bar was considered one of the best. <laughs> I'm dying over here. <laughs> I'm literally just dying over here. He only has one good level I've ever liked. You think streamers actually make good levels? Hold up. <laughs> um, I would. I know this is tooting my own horn. I would consider most of my levels are pretty damn good. Because I actually care about the player. And I care about fairness and all that. But if you want an actual good creator, uh, Supernova, uh, he's really good. We have, uh, what's his name? A Advent GG. I recently played a level of theirs in Endless. All of their levels so far, except for maybe a couple or two, you I know, mean, a couple of them, have been really well made, thought out, etc. Okay, that's just to force that, but. Okay, so I have to run when doing this. Oh. Sure got me with that one, Barb. Should have figured you'd put, throw this one in here. Panga, good creator. Uh, I think he's decent. I would say that on his fairness level, not so much, but on his uh, creativity level, pretty high. He knows how to make a good Kaizo in terms of creativity, but on good as in fairness, no, not really. No offense, Panga. You're a great guy, but you you know that your own levels can be a bit over the top on difficulty for sure. Oh. Almost got it. And then he used this. This is actually a really cool level. Will it get like? I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Who else is a good creator? Donkey Mitt's a good creator. Very creative. I would say Mang's a pretty good creator, but careful. She's not very fair with her levels. She's very creative, just like Supernova and Donkey Mitt. I gotta get a checkpoint soon for this. What the hell is this? No! No! We're not doing track gates! What are you doing? What are you doing with your life, Barb? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Wait, oh. Well, I had my chance to get in there. I was supposed to do this, and then... I literally could have gotten the checkpoint if I would have just paid attention. <sighs> I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying this level. Is it fair? It's on the no scale so far. There's some really interesting stuff. Uh, I would say th up to this point is fair, I would say. This needs to be a, a black cannonball. This is a bit unfair. But with practice, you can easily get it. Three. I'm gonna wait till he does a spike thing before I do anything else. Are you gonna do the spike thing, hello? How close do I have to get to you? Okay, there we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. All right, 
Let's see what happens. It's not even a vine! Oh, you son of a bitch! This is how you get checkpoint? Bruh. That's gross. Anyways. I guess I needed a pal. Cool. Awesome. What moment happened? We got a 59.999 record on a level I wanted to get sub one minute on. Even though it looked like I was going to get over a minute, we still got it anyways. I thought that was pretty cool. I knew that holding jump would do that. I should have been more careful. It definitely was a moment though, Sugar. It wasn't like over the top, like getting married or something, you know, but it was enough like of a moment to count for a moment. You get five per month anyways. I might as well use them up, right? And I, that was good enough for just a funny moment, I think, over anything else. That's so much easier if you just do it right away. How do I avoid this? By getting good? Yeah, by getting good. I know, getting married, what a moment. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Sugar, the other day you wanted to make moments, like, super special. I, re I remember lurking, you were saying something about how chat was memeing on you not giving out a moment for something, so yeah, it was okay. It probably, you know, th it was the, um... The pick a path, the pipe level. I kind of lurked and I heard and I watched a little bit. You literally just beat all those pick a paths first try on a level that actually had pick a path in it. And he didn't give out a moment? That deserved a moment. If you had enough to, to utilize moments, you know. That, that deserved a moment. That was insane. I couldn't believe it. I was about to say something in chat, but I was like, you know what? I need to sleep, is what I first thought. So I don't want to get stuck chatting. That's why I didn't say anything. But I definitely would have made that a moment. That's insane. Literally have to buy a lotto ticket at that point. Or if anything, that was your lotto ticket. Yeah, I can't believe you actually big brain the first section. The one where you just hold right and that was the right answer. <laughs> I couldn't believe that was the answer out of all of them. Like, wow. It's like, are you even trolling at that point? Probably not. Oh yeah, you can do that one first try. That's kind of cool. All right, that's all good, Jalim, but don't worry about it. How many people have actually played my new level, by the way, that I haven't submitted to? So I feel like my new level is definitely pretty decent, I would say. It's one of my harder levels because it's on the, the special world side, but I thought it was really cool, frame-wise. Three, three, three. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Wait! Am I doing that too fast? No, I'm doing that right. I think I figured out what I was doing wrong, though. There's two ways to do that section, I just realized. The slowpoke way, which is what I've been doing, and the fast uh, way, which is what I was trying to do, and I realized the level's a little different when you do it the fast way. Yeah, I think that was cheese. I think I agree with that, Zero. That's definitely cheese what I've been doing. The slowpoke way. I think the fast way you're supposed to just let the shell ride on the pow twice. And then, then, then you go and have to just like time your turn block. So I've been cheesing that section. Un, uh, un, 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 unintentionally been cheesing that. Which is... Not bad. 
How fast do you have to do this to actually... Wow, I'm going to do my cheesy way. I think it's better. Plus, I would have gotten checkpoint ages ago if I just did it my own way. Oh, I didn't get enough speed. I was trying to do the tap stuff. Just do a one frame jump. Saitos, it doesn't work there. You die instantly. You have to be already be jumping to be able to do that. I mean, I guess if you're a Mimi, I understand. Damn, it was so close to cheesing it. I gotta wait a little bit longer and I would've gotten it. <sighs> hey, Mr. Six. There is no dev exit. <laughs> if Barb does dev exits like Panga, I swear to God, I boo over those kind of stupid dev exits that waste your time. Like, it's one thing to make a dev exit, it's another thing to make a dev exit to make fun of dev exits, which just wastes your time. It's like, this is the best way I can describe it. It's like being a player killer in a PvP game, or PvE PvP game, or whatever you want to call it, or PvP PvE, whatever. You know, you know what I'm saying. Like for example, in Die Hack GU, which is one of my favorite games of all time, there's player versus player. They're, they're called player killers, and there's player killer killers, but they're still both bad, in a way. You're already, you're, you're still, you know dealing with that kind of stuff, but you're also one of them, but you're not really killing innocent- It's really complicated stuff, is the best way to put it. Being a, a, a person who makes dev exits that are fake to make fun of dev exits still wastes the player's time. That's what I'm getting at, so. They're fake dev exits, Reservoir, and they just waste your time. They're like, 500 seconds, do one trick. And at the end, it's a fake pipe or something. It's just not even gonna give you like three one ups or like a, an easy way to get a CP1 if you were to go through that horrible, gruesome DGR style dev exit stuff. Nope, not even that. You just. It just pat on the back and just start over the level. He, have you played a Panga level? They all pretty much have fake dev exits in them. And I boot every single one that has that in it. To me, it's like having a real dev exit, except it's just making fun of you. It's like a troll. So can I... Hmm. How was I able to do that? No, I'm going to play the fast way because I feel like it's more consistent and it's easier to do it. I'll just play the fast way. If I ever make a fake dev exit in my level, I don't kill the player. I just let him go back. You might waste a little bit of their time, but at least you don't kill the player. I actually prefer anti-trolls anyways, so... doing wrong 
I guess you are supposed to do this. Yeah, I guess you're still supposed to do that. Waiting... I think you wanted to make sure that you couldn't wait there long enough to get a freebie. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, overall, it seems like a cool level. But that's my issue with the cool levelness. How can I get there fast enough? Maybe I gotta be on the other side. I don't know, I feel like my sloppiness of the, the slowpoke route was just... I had a freebie to the checkpoint and I just didn't take it. That's how I see it. She made it that time. Wow, that was really tight. Okay. So run over. Drop it. God forbid. There we go. Okay. Uh I guess it's gonna be lined up now. I just gotta make sure I don't die. Damn. This is gonna be rough. I need to, but, but if I lined it up with the wall, I, I fuck up and I can't grab it now. <laughs> I can't win. Oh, I actually have to, this is so awkward, man. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. At least you gave me a real checkpoint I could use later, but that's where I need to have it. I think to get it. Too much speed. I'm still leading towards a meh. I don't think it really deserves a boo. It's just hard tag. Doesn't matter where I put it here, as long as I get on it. Damn it. Okay, at least he's not trolling. I still think this is super expert. I don't know why people think this would even be easy enough for a normal endless player. This is not very easy at all. The checkpoint does, that, bleh, the checkpoint does make it pretty easy though in comparison to what it would be without one. I don't think I can save this. But you have to get a perfect Z jump off of that. Okay, sure. Wow, I'm very surprised I made that. Uh, oh, you have to grab the pal. That makes more sense now. Nope. No cheese for you. You gotta make sure you bring your cheese, which is literally the way to beat the level. Cool. No! How did I fall off? Wait, isn't there cheese here? <laughs> I 
There is cheese. What the heck? <laughs> what? All right. Um, checkmate, Barb. I guess. Well, this is what you're supposed to actually do. Oh. But that thing's that makes things a little more awkward, doesn't it? <laughs> the pow cheese to me instead. Is that any easier? It makes the first section free. As long as I'm paying attention, it's frame. As long as I'm paying attention. You have to, so the idea is you're holding the Z button to get a extra 0.2 block height. If people don't know, you can hold Z off of the... Or even hold jump as well, as long as you don't press it. And you get extra height. I could also just do that as well. It's not even that hard to pull off. This, on the other hand, I think is legit, and I should actually play it as legit. Why is there two? Why is there so many? I f wait. I was right. Wait, I'm confused. Was I supposed to? No, it's the up throw tech, you bastard. I know about that tech too. Uh, sure, we'll just take that freebie. I thought I was dead anyways, so. It's the freaking up throw tech? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna push it off now. Cool, thanks. Leaning towards the boo, I'll say that much. So this is the up throw tech, apparently. With the pow. You have to keep the pow, it looks like. Yeah, really debated on that one. So, I want to line up like this, up throw, up throw, up throw, up throw, no, not up throw. So you keep the pow here. I don't understand. Oh, am I supposed to kill the muncher then? I guess we're going to find out. Is that cheese? And then you put the pow down and then you land on the pow. That's literally it. Yep. Okay. So the last one's a troll. Got it. How much card lag? Yeah, I can probably fix that if I reset the cache of the page. Oh, I guess I have to play it now. Dude, I almost got that to work. Imagine that was required instead. Barb, please. <laughs> please, Barb. Did you have to do that? Ugh. Mr. Six is exchanging a rare gift card for 300,000 rupees. There, I got it. Yikes, I have to actually do this first try. Well, 
What? Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> I was like, when I saw the, the things, I didn't realize. Oh, it's so stupid. When I saw the things, I'm like, what? I had to, like, up throw and somehow grab it again? And then I'm like, oh. Barb, you don't even have to mark those ones. That's more confusing. <laughs> God damn it. The indicators actually made me go, what? And that is why I died there, because I, I just didn't know what to do. I'm like, why is it why is it like that, is what I'm thinking. You know? Doesn't need to be like that, but here we are. So they're, they're forcing an Uno Maz tech in their level, which is not so great. I will say that much. Okay, at least I can do this pretty, uh, you know, normal. Yeah, the indicator troll. If that indicator was missing, I don't think it would have mattered. It would have mattered in the sense that I wouldn't be so confused, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Oh, I'm going to fall off. Please. <laughs> okay, there we go. I find that more fun than actually doing the real tag. Anyways, let's hopefully complete the level this time. Why are there... Oh. I mean, yeah, you kind of did mark it, but that is just rude. You need, like, an arrow or something, or multiple coins. One coin is not efficient there. That's when I had enough. I mean, the Unamas tech requirement was already a bad sign to begin with. This up throw is an Unamas. So you're not really supposed to be able to do that. Especially if it lies. I'm ready for it to lie. Two swipes of fish for that one side. Did I just did I see that? Wow, what an asshole. I would appreciate it, Twitch Prime, but you don't have to. three one-ups you bastard can you make that in time I think you can I'm gonna trust that you can look at this guy literally trying to troll at the end of the level Yeah, but that fish came out, like, the, the double fish on the right side came out so quickly compared to the other ones. That felt like an extra troll to me. Anyways, moving on. I beat that bard level, so hopefully you're happy. Now, these next levels, I haven't really looked at at all, so we're just going to do them blind.
That was one of Barb's better levels, though. I'll give him that. The creativity was pretty good. I think after the first half of the first section, it felt like, I don't know, he maybe he ran out of ideas a little bit and started putting hard shit again, you know? The first part until the icicle cannonball area should have been a black cannonball launcher. I think the chuck gates are fine, but the entry point to the pipe is kind of meh. It's, it's not really truly really fair, you know? All right, what was this one? Red coin level with dev key, okay. Let's find out where the dev key is at. Also, that's a dick to the right. Where is your dev key? What room? Door A. So right here. That's how easy this level is? It's literally right here? Are you kidding me? That is so sad. I'm gonna mark it if I can. They're chosen by Ryston, yes. He finds it before I do. Otherwise, I'll go and, you know, find an Emirata level because they're easy to get. That's literally it. Wow. Uh, you would have to make it closer, Cabot Girl. And it would have been more fair to time. Let's go take this wall breaker from this guy. Hey, Aculus. My god, it's so hard to get out of there. I think there's an easier solution that I'm not seeing. It's called put the spring on the right side so I don't have to deal with that hot garbage uh, precision. There, it's a free will record. Yep, we sure are. On to the next level. Gaining some distance. I will take a look at it in a minute here. Okay, after these levels that we're playing here, we have three more after this. And then we have two more later. So after these three, we'll play your level. If they're short, they should be. Oh, there's a dev star in this level? Oh, gross. All right, well, let's see if we can get it, if it's real. Why do you even need a Death Star? This level doesn't even look that bad. Oh, it's uncleared as well, wow. Wait, is the only raccoon in the level? Hold up. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> the only raccoon is right here. But wait, how do I get the Depth Star then? Hold on. Is it fake? Let me see. Is there another Dev Super Leaf somewhere? Hold up. Because there is a Dev Star. I see it. I don't see another Super Leaf though, Ryston. This might be a real level. Hold on. Let me double check before I play this. See a boom fight. I don't see another super leaf though, so how are you supposed to This Dev Star is fake, right? So this is a real level. <laughs> I don't see another super leaf in this level. It's all it's just one dev here, let me show you where the Dev Star is at. You it's the clear condition that makes this impossible. Yeah, sure, there's a yeah, they even put a yay. Uh, this Death Star is fake as far as I can tell. This is just a real level. I'm just double checking though. Looking through all the saw blades.
Yeah, this is just a real level. That Dev Star is fake to bait people into using it. I don't see a single extra super leaf at all in this level. I'm looking around. Unless it's in a saw blade, I can't see. Yeah, this is just a real level. That's for baiting me. All right, let's play the level for a little bit. And then we go through, oh, that looks horrible. Then we do that. Go through all this, slow, that's really not that hard. Timing yourself with the saw blades is gonna be rough though. The boom of doesn't look that bad. I have to do like big jump. Okay, so they're not, they're not allowing me to duck at all, by the way. I've noticed this. Can I have super fly in here instead? That would actually make the, the section easier, I feel like. I don't think you can, though. I mean, you can look around for a dev item anyways without viewer. That is a possibility, you know. Wait, did I actually just beat it? Hold up. Yeah, I just beat it naturally. All right, moving on, I guess. I mean, the level itself is pretty Garbo Zero. I saw what was in the level, so I booted it already appropriately for that. Anyways, moving on. We just beat a real level in this dev exit exposing stream, so you know, it's all good. This is apparently a long gauntlet. Uh, We'll do that one after the level. What about this level? The hidden garment plus tech. I'm gonna get the other ones real quick and see which ones are short, and then we'll decide based on that. Okay, yikes, that one looks not like fun. What about this one? The 3D world level with the hidden hammer suit. This is like an Amaretta level. What the hell is this? So you need the cat later? There's another hidden hammer suit, though. There's also a hidden cat suit. What? I actually... Okay, this level is actually making me very curious. What is this? Now I really want to see what this is. It's a short level, but I gotta figure out how to beat the level. <laughs> 10,000, don't bother beating this. Yeah, but I see all your dev shit, so I'm gonna go figure it out. So is that cat fake or is it real? So there's a bunch of this crap. So there's our hidden hammer suit, by the way. With ice, I don't know if I can do this. I guess I could do this. Can I wall jump off of that? Is that even real? I mean, it has to be because look, there's a bunch of hidden keys at the beginning, so. So how am I supposed to hit this and wall jump off it? It has to be that. If I can like, no, oh, I need to test something. Can I swipe and then dash right afterwards? Yeah, you can. So is that what you're supposed to do? And then you're supposed to wall jump off of it? This looks like a pretty nasty level. 
Okay, you can touch it. I did touch it. I just didn't wall jump. Hold up. Hmm. Alright, fell off. I mean, I guess I could... Hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How did I do that? Bro, is this like the SMB3 Super Leaf Tech? Wait a minute. You can just do this? I didn't even know this is the thing you can do in 3D World, but it makes sense. You can just hit it. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have done this, I think. Okay, if I could just hit it, then that's free. I think. Let me double check. How many hidden blocks are there? A lot. But you can get past it if you just use boxes. Okay. So I gotta be far enough to be able to hit it, but also be on top of it. They found this tech and decided to put it in an awful level. Anyways, uh, let's get our keys, I guess. Wait, how many do I want to mark? I can mark both dev keys. But there's a dev cat that's going to be really hard to get. Hmm. What if it's the same tech with the hammer that you can just get it? Maybe. We need the dev P switch. Hold up. Is there an on off switch I can hit? Probably not. We need the cat to win, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So maybe we do the cat tech and come back all the way over here? Because you can get a hammer later in the level as well. But why do you need... Wait. Yeah, you only need two keys to win a level. And you need the dev keys to win a level in general. The problem here is... Oh, I see. Oh, no, this is free. This is free. I just gotta... Just make sure I get to the next thing. Which I did I did save a piece switch uh, entry point here. So if I just do this, I get the piece switch. But do I want the piece switch first? Hmm. I realize I need that dev cat now. How am I gonna get this dev cat that looks impossible to get? That's our P switch. Oh, I see how you get it. Okay. You gotta do the, all this in one motion, too. I don't know if I can do that. We'll see. Okay, well, that's not gonna work out. That's better. I mean, I have to step on it now. But now I lose, unless... Nope, I gotta, I gotta get to that. I got every... I literally, if I can get past this wall right here, I win. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I can win this. I need these two keys no matter what. Okay, I'll get the keys first. That's how you do it. So we get the keys first. Get 
this one over here as well. Wait. We can take the peace wish with us, can't we? We can. Wait a minute. Then we do this. Okay, we want the piece to be on the screen. Hmm, that's not gonna work. Let's just toss this out of the way. Okay, we gotta make sure we get this now. And then we just win. Yeah, we just hit this now. <laughs> I think we just straight up win. We don't really need the- well, the cat suit's useful. I should have used the cat suit, but it's fine. So we do this. Uh, no, wait, I think we still need the P-Switch, which is down here. Um... How do we do this? This is bad. You know why? Because I still needed the cat suit first, I think. Actually, I don't know. How do I activate a P switch? I need to take damage, which I think is why the Goomba's over here. I think the reason why the Goomba's here is so I can take damage. I take one point of damage. Wait, how do I do this? He's gonna just be there anyways. I need to take one point of damage somewhere, right? If I hit the piece which early, I lose. But I can't go down there because I'm stuck once I go down there. And to activate the- Oh, the Goomba! The Goomba was- oh. He activates the P-Switch for you. God damn it. He's a big Goomba. Of course he's going to activate it. There's no way to save this guy, is there? Hmm. But we lost. We had to redo this. So I'm going to take damage on purpose anyways, because that's what was the plan was. Oh! Oh, but we still need damage. Wait, unless... Oh, let's go! Is that win? Did I just cheese your own stupid horrible level? Oh, there's a shell jump. Is there a shell jump? Let me double check. It's a real shell jump. Is this an old level I can do super jump in? I don't think it matters anyways. You know what? It didn't matter. I got the, the shell jump regardless. Dude, after all of that, you have to do a shell jump. That's insane. Also, Chaluba, thank you for the 10 gift subs. I really do appreciate that a lot. Yeah, that's how you beat that level, apparently. Wow. What a stinker. I know. He puts a real shell jump in the level at the end. Wow. Yeah, thanks again, Jaluma. I do appreciate the 10 gift subs. Which means I actually owe you two spins of the wheel. And then we're going to go play that level here in a second. So let's do the spin right now. Let me get rid of this horrible level out of my sight. I can't believe I saved it and still did the shell jump at the end. Alright, two spins on the wheel for you. So every five gift subs, I give out a spin. Everyone gets 1,000 rupees. That's pretty good. What's the next one? You were so close to stealing rupees from a, a the streamer or a bot, which it got you a lot of rupees. But unfortunately, it was just a card pack raffle. So let me go ahead and set that up real quick. Times three. So it's exclamation point ticket space one is the is free. 
up to 100, which is 1,000 rupees after the next. Three uh, card packs is worth equivalent to about 250,000 rupees, so exclamation t uh, ticket space up to 100 is 100k, basically. So keep that in mind. If you win, you get three card packs, which is like $9 worth on the channel, so. I gave you a Christmas present, but it didn't show up OBS. Anyway, CMA. Oh, Mr. Six! Hold on, I didn't see... Oh. You gave me a Christmas present? What do you mean? It didn't show up in OBS? Let me see. Mr. Luma did that. Was did you do it through Streamlabs again, Mr. Six? Oh, he. Well, I don't. Hopefully, he didn't leave. But. All right. Well, I'll take a look at it. Hold up. Let me look at my Streamlabs real quick. That's probably what he did. Let me see. Let me see. I'll log into Streamlabs just for you. I don't like Streamlabs, but it is what it is. I'm going to deauthorize them after this because I don't trust them. After what they did to people. I don't want to see all this shit on the screen. Please. Terms of service have changed. No, I'm going to close that for now. Let me see. What did you do? I'm just looking. Maybe you didn't do it on Streamlabs. I don't know if Mr. Six is still here or not, but... Well, if it wasn't in Streamlabs, did you do it in Stream Elements? Let me see. You didn't do it in stream elements. Hmm. Doesn't say anything in stream labs. Maybe it just didn't go through, Mr. Six, because I don't see it. Maybe it's in my PayPal. Maybe it directly put it in my PayPal. Let me see. I have to log into my PayPal now. <laughs> he does this once in a while. He's done it with uh, stream labs before, so I thought maybe that's what he did, but let me see. Let me check my PayPal. Because he probably donated or something. I don't know what he did. There it is. I think that was his $50 right there. And it was about seven minutes ago. Mr. Six, I do appreciate the $50. Thanks, thank you for the Christmas present. I do appreciate that a lot. You didn't have to do that. There you are. Hey, Mr. Six. Welcome on in. <laughs> welcome back. I found your $50 through PayPal, and I do appreciate it a lot. I didn't know where you did it. So PayPal doesn't go through on my OBS. That's just a separate thing. Uh, there's not much I could do about it. If you wanted to go the other route, you could do bits so I could see it on screen. Gift subs is not worth your, your money for sure when it comes down to like being nice. Bits is like 25% if you go for the max is the tax rate. If you do Streamlabs, that's fine, but I don't really like that because it is what it is. PayPal is the best way to give me the full money, and I do appreciate that. And I did get the full money, so again, I do appreciate that. You didn't have to do that. We mean that people don't read title. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You got the receipt? Yeah, I see it. I do appreciate it a lot. That will definitely help go through, like, groceries or bills or something. We'll see, though. Anyways, let's play that level that we have a submission here. From uh, AGC Writer. And then let's get back to the exposing dev access, because we just had an insane level we just completed. Which, you know, could have been a moment, but... I feel like that wasn't as special, you know? Skeleton King, alright. Yeah, have a good one, Mr. Six. Have a good uh, holidays if I don't see you uh, before Christmas. I see. Not a big fan of Dark Bubbles, but let's see what you got. That's kind of cool. Oh, that was pretty cool with the Wiggler. I like that a lot. Oh, and a Link? Bro. Is that a secret or... Hold up. I can go in here. Let me see if that's a secret or not. Okay, I can't go back. It's not dead, but... I think that was a red coin secret, so I'm gonna go take that instead. Did I really beat that level in four attempts, Seamus? Or were you talking about something else? Oh, it's just a 50. That's fine. I thought it was going to be for a red coin.
I didn't know boost stay on the stack like that. That's pretty cool. Today I learned. Looking for powers, basically. Anything up here? Nope. But oh, found our P switch. Can't go through there, so it has to be back. This is a really cool dark level. It's not very hostile, and I like that. redeeming level. We're not doing exposing right now. Oh, nice checkpoint. Imagine this was the, uh, you know, the exposure. We we're looking for. Whoa, hello, sir. Okay, before we do any of that, oh, I guess we have to. Took damage there. Yikes. This is where the key door is at. I like how you made the fire bars not too long. That's really nice that you did that. Wait, I need a link sword. Maybe. Wait, no, I don't. I'm dumb. I forgot you can enter from sideways on clouds, duh. And this should give me a link sword to go back the other way, right? Yep. Nice pixel art. Blow up that term or brick block, but I don't know why I would. Let's see. Okay. Marked it. It's not really a dev. Also, the screen is jittering for some reason. Probably because of my bomb explosion, but yeah, that's a really cool level. Good job on that. I don't really have anything else to say, you know? Could have taken the world record if I would have been a little faster, but it's fine. Yeah, they don't actually, Concha. That's why in one of my levels in my Super World, I had to put a boo on it so I could, you could see it. Yeah, that was actually a really cool level. I literally can't say anything that would actually improve the level or make it any, you know, better at all. Oh, we're doing this shit again. I hope you guys are ready for a car dev route. <laughs> uh, these levels today have been very eventful, but it to the best way. Just a relaxing ride. Yeah, more like I found your dev route. Oh my god, it's even worse! The, the clear condition! Hold on, let me get this out of the way before I accidentally like this. The clear condition is required for these two. 
Wait, that's not a coin? That's our one coin that we need to beat the level. Anyways. Hit. Wait, how many hidden coins on this track is there? Let me double check. There is one. All right, I'm glad I... Ch this is awful. All right, so where do I even begin on this level? Well, this way, I guess. Let me do some math real quick. One, two, three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeenth on the left side. This is not cool. What's their clear time? Oh, six minutes. I should not have played this level. It's a relaxing ride, you know, nothing to see here. That's fine, we can outrun him. So 17 on the other side. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen on this side. Cool. I should mark that one. I think that would be better for all the other ones. I mean, there are more things I have to mark, which we only have two comments, so thanks for that, I guess. Is there any other ones I have to look for? Hold up. It's just a dev key, right? That's it. There are two coins at the end. All right, so dev key is two, four, six, seven on the right side. Fun. All right. This level better get easier in the subworld. Because this is just boring. Oh, that's a. It's a peepa that time. Wow. Seven on the right side. That's what I said, so we're gonna figure it out. Unload that guy, turn around. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, those are the most annoying ones. Let me see what's in the subword before we go into it. Er, wait. Oh, you do need the key. All right, so what door is correct then? A or B? A on the left side is correct. Okay, cool. All right, well, here we go. I'm gonna have to look at viewer only now at this point because this level is just a mess and I would like to one shot if I can. Probably won't be able to, but I'm gonna try anyways. Wait, I only have one left? Oh well, shit, I guess it sucks to be me. I thought I had two left. Why is there question marks everywhere in this level? Soft lock, yeah, okay. Anyways, back to our adventure on the desert again. I see another dev key that I need to get, another dev coin. There's just so many of these. This is such a boring desert bus level that you have to have these dev items to win. That's so sad. Thank you. <laughs> uh. Where's my comment? It's coming up, right?
There it is. And then we gotta go through all this fun. Who is your ass from Tuscan? <laughs> he seen in Las Vegas. Nevada without enough gas money. <laughs> he just bonks and it's like, well, I guess I just live here now. Yeah, sugar does have standards. I do agree with that. Oh my god, this is such a mess to look at. The vertical section is horrible. There's a hidden coin in one of them. How many have hidden coins? I should probably pause and find out after this. Because this next section is going to be awful in comparison. But just in case, I'm going to do that. So you can just do that. Okay. Uh, left side was the correct door. Okay, before we do any of this, I'm looking at the viewer for how many hidden blocks we have to hit. One. One on the left side. Anything on the right side? I need to turn off the grid. The grid is actually making this hard to read. There. Now I can see the coins easier. Okay, so there's one on the left side. Any on the right side going up this stupid annoying elevator? No. There's one here too, though, so that's two coins. Where's, the, where's all the other coins on the level? That's three. Four, five, six, seven. Uh huh. And then we go into the pipe B. Eight, nine. Wait, did I already miss coins? Uh oh. No. What? Is oh, there's a block with ten coins in it. That's what I'm missing. Okay, so when I go up here, it's one, two, th so okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth area where the boo is at, is that's where the coin I'm looking for is. Okay. After that point, we just got to keep going up to the top. As long as we have one HP on our car, we should be okay in theory, but I don't know. Guess we're going to find out. Anyways, eighth on the left side. Also, there's a coin right here that I need to get before I forget. It's under the third spike. Okay. Not done yet, there's a key in here. Okay, I think we got all the things here for right now. Is there, wait, is there a queen here? No, there isn't. All right, I hope you're ready for not fun land. Remember, eight on the left side. One. Two, no, not two. This will be number two. Left side only. Two. This will be three. Three. Basically, on the left side. Wait, is it, is it still loaded? Uh oh. Three. 
One more. Right here. No, I spammed it. That's our coin. <laughs> right, so why'd you find this masterpiece of a level? All right. Oh, I don't really care that much. The first coin is just annoying. All right. Go back into this again. You think I would actually try this one? It's literally free once we get past this horrible crap. Bless you. I mean, it's an eight minute long level. As long as I don't mess up the tech, we should be okay. I think the reason why the boots were spawning and staying spawned is because I wasn't optimizing my tech. I think you're supposed to have the boost still there, but you can optimize it where it doesn't matter. Where is it? I mean, true, Zero, but I mean, like, the horrible crap is in... The boring shit. <laughs> Once you get past the boring crap, you get the second pick of path, it's home free. It should be free anyways. I shouldn't die after that point. Because everything else is just like they gave up. Which is what I'm looking for. All right, see you later, Julian, but have a good one. Again, thank you for the 10 gift subs. I do appreciate that. Make sure I don't screw up here. There. Wasn't sure how many I had. The left side. So eighth on the left side, but I gotta optimize my tech if I don't want to die So what I need to do here is jump When it's about to move it should uh, despawn this guy. That's the idea It seems to be working so if I just keep despawning these Uh oh, uh, we're. This is the second one, 100%. Yeah, this is number two. Unless I miscounted, but I guess we're gonna find out.
No, it's right here. Unless I did it wrong. It should be right here. Let me see if I'm making sure that I'm not missing a coin. Give me a second. Because we're near the end. Oh, we're not even near the end of this section. Okay, we just got a little bit more to go through. I haven't bonked it at all, right? So I think it should be safe overall. How many coins do I have? Four? Five? Six? Seven? Eight? Eighteen? Am I missing one? At the end. Two. Oh no, we're not missing any. Okay, so we should be fine as long as we just keep doing this. I don't think the creator actually did the tech I'm doing right now to avoid having them spawn in still. They probably thought they were funny by doing this, but they actually made it doable for me to cheese their levels, so. It does take longer to do this, though, but I should have enough time. I think they speed ran their own level because of the clear check time. But if I play it very safe, I don't have to worry about any of this stuff. If the level was eight minutes long, I would have gone faster, but it's not. Oh, I gotta find out which one to go into. Okay, I think it's probably the top one, but let's just double check. It is. Wow. Okay, we get that. We get our mushroom. Actually, wait, is the mushroom bad? No, the mushroom's fine. I don't... What? Yeah, the mushroom's fine. I don't know what... Okay, whatever. Anyways. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Did they fuck me over? Because I got the mushroom early? You fucker. Can I get hit by one of these? <sighs> the mushroom is actually bad. Well, I lose. I gotta do this again. We'll get to the end, at least. The mushroom's only good if you don't kill the bee first. And then, wait. No, they give me a warp box, so I can't cheese it. And then you do that, and then you win. Ah, fun level. Anyways, back to the drawing board. I should have thought about the trees, yeah. That's my fault. It's not even that hard anymore. I know it must be fun. Gotta do another. You know what? I'm gonna run some ads, I guess, while we're doing this, because I'm just doing it again, so. Might as well run some ads. Get it off of the mid roll and pre roll stuff, right? The viewer level. Or sorry, the level viewer has been working since. About a week ago again. They fixed the issues. I mean, Concha, I would not have wasted all the time invested into the level. That's the issue. If the level reviewer didn't exist, I would just be doing Super Expert because that's what I'm good at.
Jero's gonna go on a mission on his next stream. He's gonna go and see what else this guy has made because it's car level related. <laughs> I know what he's thinking here. Jero, you really like that car, don't you? Oh, a little too early. That's my fault. I thought I saw the comment. That's okay, though. We'll do it again. Might have a solid super world. Imagine, right? Oh, a little too much speed there. Live roadkill with that Koopa I just hit off of there. You know, I really doubt they have anything else that's like... I mean, if they made something like this, I doubt they have a real level in their arsenal. Let's be honest here. If they make stuff like this, that's the kind of mindset they usually go in to making stuff. Then again, I'm the one who made Vogue so I don't know. Look at that. Amazing. Full record pace right here. That is a decent amount of likes. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's because of simple flips because he made the desert bus stuff, you know. Yeah, it's not going to be that much faster, Green. Let's be honest here. I'm gonna have to take it nice and slow in the vertical section. Then again, I could just rub it in the face if I do it faster than the greater, right? That would be pretty funny. But I wouldn't take too much attempts, probably. Also, I think the car has three hits still. I should probably be careful about that. I guess we're gonna find out. I don't know, uh, Pegwing. I I can't decipher it. Okay, don't get the mushroom first. Actually, you can, as long as you do this right. I wonder if I can time this. Oh my god. No, please. Oh my god, I'm, I'm literally on one HP on this car now. Oh shit. <laughs> We're in big trouble now, but I one-shotted that. One. Two. And we just keep going, as if nothing happened. 
Maybe the creator did do this, then. I'm like, I'm on really good pace, though. That's the best part. As long as I don't mess this up. Probably wondering how you're gonna win this if you only have one HP. Oh, well, I'm gonna use the Unamash trick. Sadly, that's all I can do. No! How did I go with the? How did I go with the bottom one? Well, there goes my freaking world record pace. Jesus. <laughs> How did I go in the bottom one? I wasn't even aiming for that. Well, time to do another world record strat, huh? <laughs> How did I go in the bottom one? I swear I was high enough for that. Well... Conveyors at the bottom. Seems kind of pointless. It is Ugg, I know. You can thank Ryson for picking out this level. He knew how boring it would be. My own comment lied to me. I, I must have barely jumped out of it. There's no way. Why am I stressed out from this? Because it's a level? I don't know. It should be on the left side. Am I wrong on that? I swear I put it in the right spot. Yeah, it's on the left side of that block. The fact that I was able to get the double coin and jump block was insane at one time in the sub world. There we go. All right, Seamans, have a good night, man. See you later. I mean, someone's gotta beat this boring ass level, am I right? <laughs> I have all the information, all the tools to beat the level. The problem is, um, if I didn't grab that mushroom first, if I just didn't grab that mushroom first, or kill the bee first, one of those two. I gotta leave the bee alive, I feel like. Take damage and then jump on it. Or maybe I'll just grab the coins first and then grab the mushroom. I can kill the bee first. Yeah, I'll just kill the bee first, grab the coins on the trees first, grab mushroom, then win level that easy. I missed the key. I don't know if I can do this again. I'm gonna try though. Nope. Nope. <laughs> 
Uh, hitting that uh, block is gonna be rough. Once I get past that, hopefully I just don't make a stupid jump again. That will be fine. There we go. Don't worry, we're gonna beat this level eventually. I don't know much longer, the vertical level section or this horizontal main world section. I think the sub world is longer. I would play it, Concha, and I would take it nice and slow and get the freebie. I think it gives out three one-ups, right? Or at least one at the end. Oh, you can make one-ups. You just take the shell and then make one-ups at the start. Yeah, that, that's easy. Four, six, seven. And I jumped too early. Yikes. Here's how you make one of this level. Not that, that's for sure. Um, let me get rid of. You know what? Let me get rid of these enemies first and then let me show you. <laughs> This is how you make one of some level right here. If I were to get an endless, that's how you do it. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. We're going anyways. Even if it was a time loss, I don't care. I think my car did take damage from that. I can see it. So getting bumped by Luigi counts as a hit. Okay. I know, right, Concha? That's how we do it around here. Make your own one-ups. Okay, so it's on the left side. There we go. Shouldn't be that hard to get the dev key up here, but I keep missing it somehow. Maybe I'm jumping too early. I don't really need to hold left that hard. I feel like I could stop it if I really want to. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about world record too much. I think I'm just gonna clear the level and move on. I think it's better for content anyways. I would like to, in spite of the creator, I would like to get, you know, beat their clear check time because that would be funny. But I think. Content-wise, it would be better if I actually played this legit instead of just doing this for every attempt six minutes on a die, you know? That would not be fun. Three to six minutes, depending on how far I get into the level, you know? Okay, so it's... it's let me just double-check. Let me look at the viewer. Is it seven from the right? Two, four, six, seven. Seven and on the right side. Two, four, six, seven. It should be right here. It is. I don't know how I'm missing it. And take left side. If I don't get this first try, it's no sweat. Just go for the slow run. It's not a big deal. Oh my god, I actually got it. Let's go. 
Took one hit of damage, but that's fine. Still pretty fast. That saves like 10 seconds if I get both of them at the same time. One. Seven, one more. That's less hidden point I have to worry about, hopefully. Can't read chat as much because of this uh, vertical section requiring a lot of focus, sadly, now. Just don't miss the warp box. The fact that I missed it that one time is insane. There we go. All right, we can kill the bee first. Get the coins for anything else. Okay, that's what the troll was here, and I understand now. And I didn't get the mushroom. That's fine though. We should win as long as they don't mess this up. Not good enough. Who cares about top of the flag? All right. I think we also beat the, uh, the clear check time. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, we did. So you know what? We did it in spite of them anyways. What did you say, Pappy? Scientific study on the mind that makes levels such as this. Beginning with dissecting said minds so they can't make any more levels. Yes, agreed. <laughs> good riddance. I know, right? Jeez, what a level. I made that harder on myself, though, to be fair. What's this next one? Hold on. Wow, there's a lot of power-ups in this level. What about this one? Is this one fast? Ooh. Alright, so where's my hidden key? You know what? We'll play this one first. And I'll play the other one. That should be the last one for the set. Because the one after this is going to be a, apparently another gauntlet. I see where the hidden stuff is at. Probably my easiest level yet. So easy. Dot, 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 dot. Infinity. I see where there's a dev key. Cool. So the beginning... It looks like you have to toss... Wait. You don't toss this? You have to toss this. 
but you need the other one. So I need to toss it from a further distance. Oh, God, what does that say? Hello, guys! I'm gonna do this right away because we already know this level is gonna be bad. That's where I need to be? Wow, this is rude. The beginning sucks already, as is. Can I not catch up to that? What's the plan here? Oh, it's a drop. That makes more sense, right? So the beginning is just a drop, and we grab it, and then we do that. That's what it is, okay. Is this what I think it is? Oh, you bastard. You thought you could kill the player doing that. How dare you? This must be a power drop. Is there anything hidden here? Let me see. No. Where's that door go? That spot, okay. Alright. Cool, I guess. How do I get to this hidden key? Can I fly? Can I do a super fly here? No. Hmm. Well, we want to get this first, no matter what. Let's get that. And it wants us to apparently do a big jump to the right. Is that a hidden P switch? No. I guess we'll just do this. Oh, they didn't even know how to do this stack. That's fine. I'll just do this. <laughs> Alright, so... Get the key. Got it. No, I missed it. I lose now. What? Is the piece which even required? No. No, it's not. I'm getting baited. Okay, we just get the hidden key right there and we win. That's it. That's all we need to do. The rest of the level's done. Done zone. That's what they were counting on, I see. Uh, you found this level, Rice, and you gave it to me. This is one of the, uh, the other ones that you gave to me a while back. Uh, the newer one. I think this is one of the newer ones you gave me, maybe. Either way, it has a hidden key in it, and then the hidden vine, and then you win level. It's, we're almost done with the level, we just gotta get good. And this is not how you get good. Uh. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, TLV. Now we have Nitro here as well, I see. It is certainly a level. Yeah, the beginning is so awkward. Probably his easiest level, by the way. Keep that in mind. Yes, we're adding levels, of course. I should have known. <laughs> Why do people think we're doing Vero levels today? I don't understand. <laughs> Is that just a meme at this point? You can add me a level if you have the channel points. That's the requirement. Is that what people, people think you can just add levels just randomly? In the title? Level viewer! Exclamation point viewer, please use that. I understand the issue now. <laughs> okay, we got that, now we just go back this way. 
Hopefully that's enough speed and height and all that. Oh, it is. Wow, look at that. You know what? I'm going to put a comment here. I don't know. Kind of funny that way, though. Probably should have marked the dev key, but eh. They can find it. Wow, look at this nice clear condition. Almost as if he just didn't make it required. Actually, do I win first? You do. So when you go in a door through a saw blade, you win first. That's so weird to me. I mean, it says exposing dev exits, right? The title says exposing dev exits using level viewer. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Fine. You guys want to be very specific? I'm going to put level viewer program. If you guys still make it... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Chocolate cake equals cake chocolate. Ah, uh, Nitro. Uh, yes, Peppy, of course. Of course. Nitro, that makes no sense when level viewer is actually a program. But that's fine. It's all good. That, that, that does kind of make sense why there's been so many people who've been trying to dump levels in my queue. You think I got time for your, uh, probably, no offense, awful levels? You can send them to me with channel point redemptions, as you can see in the channel point redemption area. Or you can wait for actual viewer levels, you know. This will be the final level, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Yeah, this should be the final level. For the dev exit stream. Um... That's progressive, by the way. Why is that super leaf actually important? Hold up. I don't think it matters. Wait, what killed me? Oh my god, there's things that just kill you already. Alright, let's just play the level. Get our I don't know why this is progressive, but we're just gonna grab it now. Isn't there one right here? Yes. Uh, you know what? There's just plenty of power-ups. We're just gonna take them as is. What the hell is this hot garbage level? Jesus. All right, we get into the pipe, and then is there a power-up at the beginning? No, there is a star, though. And it is hidden for some reason. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. This is, this is looking pretty hard, but here we go. Oh, it's upside down. I see the issue now. I thought it was the other way. <laughs> That's my fault, I guess. Oh, what a level. Oh, wait. Wait, this is not even the right way to go. Wait a minute. Oh, so they, they literally put devs all over the place. Why is there a super leaf? That's so weird. Look, we're going to fight about it all day. But when it comes down to it... I mean, do you expose dev exits and viewer levels all the time? Let me know. Because <laughs> I don't think that's a normal thing. Eh. I don't know how I saved my mushroom there. Too much spam, that's for sure. Can you even dodge that normally? I don't know if you can. Okay, there's no reason to justify it. They're literally level viewers a program. I'm surprised most of you haven't heard of it. We just put levels in the queue like that. I mean, it's not necessarily the worst level I've seen, but the spam to justify the hidden power-up, come on. It's gonna go this way. Oh. Wow. Well, cool. I guess I have to hit the on-off switches. Wait, do I? Yeah, I hit both of them. 
Is there a super leaf? Did they come back down and get the super leaf? Is there a reason to do that? I don't know if there is. Let's go up or down. I'm gonna use that from now on. It's the purpose of exposing it? I'm sorry, you want a level to be uncleared forever? <laughs> Wait, why am I even asking that? Of course that's the, the, the viewer mentality. What am I saying? Yeah, there's no way you can dodge that unless you have like a perfect set of needles. I got a mushroom through. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It's probably a bad thing, because I saw something earlier that probably prevents me from utilizing it properly. God, I'm fighting for my life out here upside down. Well, I guess I'll just hit the star. Hardly be able to use it to cheat check. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. Cool. Great design. I have to hit that as ASAP, basically. That's just not. I have to hit that so early. Having a mushroom there actually killed me. Just describe what a bad level is. Thanks, I guess. Am I trying to keep a mushroom here? That's a good question. There's no reason to. I know, when the Mega is so bad, having a power-up actually is not good. I know. Well, I'll let it come back up. Alright, so, I need you to figure this one out. Well, well, at least I don't die yet. That's good. I'm dead now. There's no way I can save this. Yep. So, I gotta just be ready for that jump, I guess. I have no choice. I have to be just be ready for that jump. You can see why Ryston said this would be a gauntlet. It sure is. These are just blind needles when you get down here. You have no idea they're here until they hit you. You think you make sure point. You don't need to justify yourself. I've already fixed the issue anyways. Jesus Christ. Okay, I gotta get on the next go here. Okay. Um, uh, I think I'm dead. Not dead. Okay, we made it this far. I need to see if there's anything else hidden. Where are we at? All right, let's go through the pipe. The next pipe is fine. Anything else hidden? Uh, nothing so far. That's the only. Wait, nope. There's a dev power up in the next section somewhere. If I go through here, there's a just a hidden super leaf out of nowhere. Hidden mush, not really hidden mushroom, semi hidden mushroom. Hidden super leaf again. All right, I've seen enough to just continue. Okay. Yeah, I figured that would be safe. Wow, look at you, sneaky person. Over here, there's a hidden power up. I think I need to go over here. Uh, these needles, man. Oh, that's gonna kill me. 
Oh, I, I see how I do it. I do it this way. Ugh. Ugh. Why, wait, wouldn't having a mushroom here be worse? I just realized, I don't know if this is actually a good thing or a bad thing. Hard to say. That might be helpful to get up here at least. Wow. <laughs> you asshole! You put it to the other side on purpose so someone would die there. Look for hidden crap. Well, yeah, why would you put hidden crap in the first place, though? There's no defense. You put it in here because you couldn't beat your own level legit. Imagine you can't see the, the, the description, right? Oh, wait, you can't in Endless, so you have no idea you need to look for hidden crap. Checkmate. That one was funny at least, yeah, it's fine. I did that to myself. This is the hardest part of the level. I don't know how they did it legit. Cause look, now I just lost again. And there's no way to save it, you just lose. If you don't hit that in time, you just straight up lose. That is so awful. The fact that they actually just, like, did that is very impressive. That is the hardest section of the level. Everything else is, like, whatever. You know? It didn't do anything for me. That did something for me. <laughs> Hole in one. Nitro, I feel like you just haven't been here long enough, and that's okay. Wait, you know, it's fine. This isn't a matter of, oh, I'm gonna quit because I'm not enjoying it. This is a matter of, we gotta get this crap off of the face of the earth, because someone's gotta clear it. Someone's gotta do the job of basically Team 0%. I have many problems with many levels because all I play is garbage, so I have a pretty good understanding of what garbage is in this game, you know? Let's see if I can do this first try. It's gonna be very hard. Okay, we got it. Gonna drop down here because that's just easier. It's literally the main feature of the stream, that's true, yeah, that's fair. We're here to have a good time in the bad way, you know. I could probably hold right there to be fair. I did that, okay, don't panic jump. Just don't panic jump there. It's upside down so it's hard to see. I don't even... I have no words for that. This is just a damage boost fest is really what this is. At the beginning. What am I doing? Don't jump early there. That's stupid. I mean, wait, what about Dread? I mean, he plays hot garbage like I do, yeah. So does Zero, but I feel like Dread puts more effort. I feel like Zero doesn't want to play as much hot, hot garbage as we do. He does appreciate the, uh, the quality of garbage, but I've seen Zero not get happy with certain bubbles, you know. I don't know if I, I really don't know if I want this mushroom still. I mean, it helps me get a platform, so that's like the only good thing it does. Okay, and then we have a hidden item here. 
Oh, Jesus. Okay. Give me my mushroom, please. Where is it? There it is. There's one over here as well. I need to pause now. I haven't made it this far yet in the viewer. And then we get dropped off. Wait, that's literally pointless. Just make the jump over there. Okay, then we go down. Oh, we have to be small no matter what, unless... Wait. Wait, where does this snake block go? Hold up. Doesn't it have like a position it goes anywhere. I don't see this where the snake block goes. It doesn't show it. Well, I have to assume it goes into the pipe area because that's the only thing that makes sense. Right? Yeah, I have to take damage here no matter what. This power-up is pretty useless. Okay. As far as I can tell, unless I'm misreading this section. Yeah, it looks like you have to take damage here. Because otherwise you're just not going to... Well, let's just test it out. Yeah, it worked out. Doesn't matter, really matter. Power up here. So let's grab that. We need to pause again because I haven't made it this far. There's a hidden dev star after the on off switch down here. Okay. And a hidden fire flower under the saw blade. All right. So the star is right there. Okay. Oh, it doesn't even move. Do I need to hit this on off? I need to find out now. Uh oh. There's. Dude, there's just so many power-ups. Does hitting the on-off matter for the rest of the level? I need to see why, and if so. So far, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it literally doesn't matter right now. Okay. We don't need to worry about hitting the on-offs at all. You really didn't even hide that one very well, did you? Also, they have one like right here as well. <laughs> they had so many hidden power-ups, man. Oh, this level is just something else. Isn't there another power-up hidden somewhere around here? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. In fact, we should probably expose this one too. Let's see. There is not a hidden power-up in this section. Very interesting. Also, imagine having a checkpoint. Imagine being small and required. Cool. I wonder why there's no hidden power up here because you have to be slow. Oh, okay. There's just going to be suddenly Bowser fire, you know. That's cool. And I think there's a power up at the beginning of this section too, right? Yeah, down below. I don't know what's in the other block, but I don't care. Hey, we got a checkpoint, imagine. <laughs> it took that long to get one checkpoint. Oh, it's a stupid boss fight now. Is there anything else hidden in this level? There's a boom boom. Probably see see what you have before I hit you. Okay, yeah, no, that's 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 a fair assessment. Um Yeah, I don't know. I think I just lose, right? Because well there's a checkpoint. I'm not really that upset. I wish these freaking bombs didn't have Oh I'm dead. The bomb killed me. I wish these bombs didn't have parachutes on them. That'd be actually a better design, but you know, here we are. 
Wait, do they have a hidden star by chance? Oh my god. <laughs> god dang it, I should have checked for hidden power-ups. I should have known better. <sighs> I should probably kill this. But never mind, I guess I'm just gonna have to suffer now. Wow, he's not gonna jump in there, is he? He actually did, wow. That is a little surprising that he would actually just do that to himself. Great ending. <laughs> Literally about to kill the player as fast as possible, you know. This level needed two checkpoints, not just one. <laughs> <laughs> 